That would be a fantastic place to start right now. Why? Okay, we let's go. Let's go to the dressing room. Monka S is right, Breeze. Okay. Hey. Sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. It's okay. I'm used to it. Correct. Yeah, I knew it what it was. Indeed. So it's then. my first place to check when this shit's all fucked up on my stream is the fucking video drivers. Because that's all we, it's always the fucking video card, which makes zero sense. But okay, well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? So does, does that mean? Does this have to, something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Dark Matter, what's up, buddy? Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. And she stored it up her butt. But what did you steal? So... I stole this. A key? But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. I mean, I got that you're up, Dark, but where did you get that? So... From the headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the headmaster's room? But wasn't it locked? However, the lock was broken. What? Correct. It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did? Indeed. Why are you up? Yeah, I know. I mean, remember when she said in her note, I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us. That's right. That's right. So that we could uncover whatever secrets may lay hidden within. She did that for us. She violated the school regulations to help us. She'd already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. Yeah, Dark, you should get your sleep and get some cookies. But if I just strolled into the room, Matakuma would have noticed right away, which is why. I used you as a decoy. So you asked me to meet you at the data center in order to... Correct. Oh, dude, I couldn't sleep last night either. Correct. I wanted you to draw Matakuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then, what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Yukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Oh, dude, she's so smart. That's why she's that's why she's married to Reese because she's smart. Watch out for her. Olivia, I hope you had a better day today, by the way, friend. Did you find out about this Mukuro Isu? Ikusaba while you were in there? Indeed. I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Makura Ikusaba is dangerous. The dangerous? In other words. Why does everyone in this game stutter constantly besides Kyoko? She may very well be the mastermind. M mastermind? But didn't Alter Ego say that the headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have any proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Makura Ikusaba really could be the mastermind? Anyway. Anyway, this key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it get it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's the key even lock? Unlock. So... I don't know yet, which is why. I need you to draw Matakuma's attention again while I go and find out. Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't. That's way too dangerous. And you want me to draw his attention, but we don't actually know that there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than one person watching us, Is that right? but they didn't catch on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Hey. Or maybe just the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night, but as you said, maybe it was pure luck, which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. 
and we're, we're successful again, then what may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko... Mickey! What's up, friend? <coughs> as Kyoko talks, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. Hey. If it's true that the mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would have to be a period of time when the mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true and if we can exploit it. How you doing, Mickey? Maybe, but no matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. When I think what might happen if we fail, Why is that? I don't think you need to worry all that much. After all, with minimal restrictions, you're free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery. Am I wrong? Even when I look, uh, took the key, I, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. But if the mastermind decided to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could just kill us all without a second thought. I see. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll all still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. What? Correct. Mickey's so weird, man. I'm glad. This is how I was going off about it in my Discord today. I'm, I'm pissed for one reason. Because I feel like a bunch of stupid people who are trying to make profit and or shove it to Wall Street are going to eat dirt right now. And if that happens, it's not Wall Street that's going to pay. Because the fucking Wall Street motherfuckers have the government in their back pocket, which is the biggest fucking problem in this whole equation, right? Which, which is the sad part, and it's the fucking one of the reasons why we got in this fucking situation that we're in financially, right? Uh, in a moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other words, in other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now, there's no reason not to do it, right? Yeah, Alifa, it's it doesn't matter because they're all fucking. All the cards are stacked in their fucking favor because they all buy the motherfuckers that run the goddamn country. But, but it's why fucking Biden said we were going to get $2,000 checks. That's why Biden said we were going to get $50,000 of student loans fucking paid off. That's why he said, oh, we're going to get kids out of cages. Guess what? Like, I like Biden. Don't get me wrong. But he got in the office and he's just like everything fucking stands still. Like, it's just a clusterfuck. And I know a lot of that is because of what happened with Trump and everything like that. But the government is just a fucking monstrosity of of bureaucracy and fucking uh, just... It it moves at the at snail speed times a thousand. But, but... If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Yeah, I know. I know, Alethea. I know. It's... Well, I mean... How the fuck? They get in and they go, yeah, they had no plan to get do anything. They had no plan for fucking COVID. How does that happen? <laughs> yeah, I know, Mickey. And the problem is, guess what? Those people were fucking us, and that's why they were shorting those stocks. Yep. I mean, this system is... That's why people keep saying eat rich, because this system is... If we, I mean, you don't topple it at the very fucking top, you don't fucking fix it. I mean, that's the fucking problem with this whole equation. We have an equation where it just goes, it is literally all the cards are stacked in their favor against us. What we have is determination and numbers. That's what we have. We Determination and numbers. But we're too busy fighting each, each other, and that's one of the things that they do. They make us fight each other. They made us fight over Republicans and Democrats. They make us fight over sports. They make us fight over fucking TVs at fucking Black Friday and at Walmart. They make us they just make us fight to keep us occupied so they don't have to worry about us, right? So Yeah, oh I know Mickey. I know they did. I you know why fucking GameStop is a piece of garbage stock anyways. Why the company was going to be out of business in the next 5 to 10 years anyways. Why the fuck are they doing that so they make a quick dime now during the fucking global pandemic? Yeah, exactly. I got mad about that the other day because it said they're putting in shit where they're going to do the minimum wage in 2025. And I'm like, but people need that now. They need that now. They need that more than ever right this second. But guess what? They're not getting it because, again, 
the people come secondary to money. It, it's fucked. It's fucked. They haven't done anything wrong, Mickey. All they did was take advantage of what the Wall Street... They figured out that the Wall Street motherfuckers had shorted GameStop stock and took advantage of it. Also, I don't... How did we get... This is the next question. We went... And we're, this is a tangent at this point. We went from... We went from... Because these same people that are doing this are the people that were selling sneakers with bots like, like six months ago. Yeah, I mean, again, Mickey, it's it's, but you know what the problem with that is? Who's paying for those 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 hedge funds dying? No one, except for the people invested in them, and those and how many of those people are the the little people? You know, weird artist mom, what is up, friend? Chunky taco, <laughs> I love it, I love it. Can I get a shout out for weird artist mom? Weird, you haven't streamed in a while, have you? You, I know you used to stream. More cushion. Yeah. I mean, it's all good in my book, Weird. It's all good in my book, friend. So, yeah, it's just... I mean, that we have tacos. We have all these things. It just it makes me want the, uh, the Zika moat. That's really what it wants. Oh yeah, I saw you. That cool. That's uh, that's super dope. Weird. Yeah, you guys. If you guys want art, like we got two dope artists in the stream. We got Reese and Weird Artist Mom. They both do really, really cool shit. So if you're looking for emotes, you're looking for art, you're looking for logos. They both do really awesome shit. So those two are awesome. I'm not trying to compete them against. I love them both. Oh god damn it, Vissy. God damn it. Hey, honey. Can you bring me down another hair tie? I need pigtails. It's always Vissy. Vissy always gives me pigtails. Oh. And here we are. And here we are. Oh. And it's like 14 minutes into the stream. So that means I have to wear these things for like 245 two plus. And Vissy is like one of the only people like he, around that I can like, it doesn't matter what she does. I'm, like, I'm not going to be mad at her. Ugh. Like I almost feel like I need to make a Rod Pigtails like emote for BTTV. Oh, I love you too, Missy. Ah. Man. I just need a picture of it. That's good. <laughs> Mickey, I, I, I grew up in a military family with short hair. And then I was in ROTC and had my head shaved constantly. You can blame Vissy, uh, Pug. Your hair is pretty short, Alethea, isn't it? It seems like it's pretty short. Pug, we're here. Ow, as I pull my own goddamn hair. I mean, I don't... Okay, we're... It is... I'm not an a expert here. And... Okay. The pigtail's good enough. Here, I'll even do this. Let's turn the cam the There you go. You guys happy? Rum 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 Oh my god. Man, I uh Yes, exactly weird. I really love uh, Bloody Faster, her shaved head, and all the shit she does with her shaved head. Is She looks she always looks dope with uh, her shaved head, man. She is one badass bitch, right, man? Like, 
I love her. I really do. She is one badass bitch. She was going off on people today, and I was just like, man, I, the, God, Ripley, Ripley, come here, Ripley, come here, come here, Ripley, Ripley, come here, come here, Ripley, Ripley, come here. I'm trying to get Ripley, but it's not working. Ripley, Ripley, come here, come here, come here, Ripley, come here, Ripley, come here. here. This is this is why Ripley doesn't come on stream. Cause I call her and she doesn't listen. Bert, what's up, you sexy motherfucker? Ah, Ripley. Gizmo is better, but <laughs> Ripley's funnier too. It, like Ripley's like Ripley's just a she's just a chunker who loves to cause chaos. She is the the the. The alpha of the little pack. Oh. Oh no, I um I DM'd Bloody Faster at some point about something and she responded. I'm like, I love you. <laughs> I was like, I love you. Ah, uh, Okay. So the pigtails are done. Missy, are you happy? <laughs> yeah, it's funny, Alita. I just I got to the point where I just stopped sh cutting my hair, and that's why I am here. Okay, I gotta go get my Go XLR fixed, and I don't know where I'm getting it fixed. Heltar said to send it to him, and okay, huh? What exactly is happening here? Hey, God damn it! All of a sudden, I are there. Why is switching scenes a problem all of a sudden? Um, now it's all dark again. Let me see if this works. Wow. Okay. I guess we're doing that. What the fuck? Where did, what the fuck is going on? Guys, this is what streaming is in 2021, apparently. Okay. I'm it's not even touching buttons. It's my uh my fucking video card uh things going like this and it's uh it's been a disaster all fucking stream, man. Oh, god damn it. Ah, oh, okay. Am I wrong? Uh, I love you all. Thank you for putting up with my bullshit. And that at that moment I finally realized I'd never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. I fixed it, deputy, don't worry. Also, I have to do something else real quick. Okay, there we go. Okay, kid. See you later, buddy. <laughs> I can't change how I feel, and I wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Huh? What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. If something happens? However... I don't know what is. Uh, what's fucked, uh, deputy? I mean, I'm always fucked, but I've had problems today. But it looks like everything's working now. Is the game loud enough? That's my only other question at this point. Is the game loud enough? I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it, and a death without meeting is unappealing. Hey. Please, I want to hold on. I want you to hold on to it for me, Alife. He. Let's boo our king party. 
Deputy, we have a Twitch baby. Deputy, what's our Twitch baby named? Okay, we'll turn that up a little bit. What's our Twitch baby named, uh, Deputy? I mean, it's Twitch has been fucking whorehead. Okay, so everyone, welcome to the world, whorehead. The baby of myself and Deputy Dong. Deputy Dong, thank you for that continued support. You get these awesome emotes. You get Gizmo, your, your stolen child. You get everything you love. Welcome back to the Empire Rod. All hail Gizmo! Whorehead. Whorehead is a baby, and Whorehead will be a beautiful individual. Debbie and I aren't gonna aren't gonna push uh, genders or anything on them. They will be a, a bright spot of this world. Fine, I'll hold on to it just because you asked me to. I mean, th that sounds good too, Pug. Hori, this is Auntie Vizzy. <laughs> Fine, I'll hold on to it just because you asked me to. Oh, fucking shit. Oh, my God. Fine. No, Vizzy, you're going to be the godmother so that if when I die, when Deputy Donk... Magnesimo! Thank you so much for that host! You're going to be the godmother uh, so when... uh. When I die because Deputy Dong killed me, you're going to need to raise Whorehead. Mags, what's up, my beautiful, beautiful friend? But I'm going to give it back to you at some point. You can be sure of that. Indeed. Yes, of course. Hey. What up, Mag? Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because then there's a chance the Mastermind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. Huh? You mean there's something else? Well. It's nothing. Forget I said anything. Kyoko's like, shove it in my fart box. Shove it in my fart box. She wants it. I I can't just forget that easily. So then. Okay then, shall we begin? Makoto. Makoto is the most awkward individual around girls, and it's fucking actually hysterical. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. Goodbye. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What? Wasn't like every other time? With a sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No, everything's going to be fine. I know it. Peace, love, and bud, Mags. Yes. Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety. And then I got to work. So we go up to the water thing, right? Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you see me, right? Get out here. I've got a bone to pick with you. Then a few moments later. Monokuma appears! Well, well, this is a surprise. You being the one to call me out. Hey, hey! Hey, by the way. Uh-huh. Most suspicious. We were boning, Monokuma. What were you and Kyoko up to? We were boning. It was like fucking and fucking and fucking. Going to the bathhouse, just the two of you, in the middle of the night. Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet. <laughs> so warm and wet. Oh, yeah, guys. It's warm and wet. Oh. I bet you guys... Remove to conform with local and international censorship laws. <laughs> I came all over her belly. Yes. Uh. Uh. Well, me. I. Katie said something about them legalizing or like selling shrooms here, which I thought they just decriminalized, but all over her, didn't you? I came all over. It's a visual novel mag that is also a murder mystery slash horror game. I'm going to come all over Monokuma's head. Not going to talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. Unlikely you. I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. Because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation far from X-rated exploits. Oh, so this is why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathroom? Wow. Bathhouse? Bullseye! 
Or maybe, or is it maybe because the lens gets all fogged up and you can't?